hello and welcome back to my channel. Um, as most of you know who follow us on social media, we are doing a bunch of home renovations right now. I'm actually sitting in front of what is the back of my desk and the outlet, I don't know if you can see it, but it doesn't have a cover on it. So everything's still kind of in shambles around here. Um, but I did want to continue trying to get content up. So we're just moving forward. Today I wanted to talk about some goals that I have. If you are on my Instagram or my Facebook, you saw that I posted one of my goals yesterday about book release dates and kind of how I'm seeing those go over the next three years just with the ideas I currently have. And so I thought it would be fun to do a video to kind of talk about writer goals and author goals and see what your guys' goals are. So number one on my list is publish all the books I've started. And that's kind of where the social media post came from is I have 11 books right now of varying degrees. And so some of them are completed drafts, some of them are almost completed drafts, some of them are just notes and ideas. Some of them are in this notebook, some on my computer, but 11 separate ideas. And so goal number one for me would really just to be getting through that chunk of books that I already have, ideas that I've already developed and then seeing all of those through to the end. I just think that that would be really cool. Um, number two is attend one conference or one retreat per year. And so I talked a little bit about the Seattle Writers Workshop and I loved that. And I learned so much from attending that. And so a goal that I'm gonna try really hard to stick to is attending at least one of those every year. I think the connections are amazing. The amount of stuff you learn is incredible and hopefully in the future we're doing those face to face but even experiencing it virtually for my first time was completely worth it. 100% it's worth the money to make those connections and meet those people and that's definitely something I want to continue doing. Number three would be to host a book signing or like a book launch party in person and so this year um with soul jumper my release day will just be virtual and i'm sure in the future that may be the case just for convenience purposes but i would love to be able to book something in a bookstore or in a restaurant where i'm meeting people face to face and signing books and actually getting to talk to people who are excited about the books and that's definitely a goal of mine and hopefully one that I get to see through um, shortly. <laughs> um, number four is to make a bestseller list. I think if you're a writer, no matter if you're traditionally published or self-published, everybody wants to make a bestseller list. Um, it's a goal that I feel like writers all kind of share. For somebody like me who is self-published, there's a lot of lists that I won't even be eligible for unless I'm traditionally published. Um, but there are some lists that self-published authors are eligible for. And so making one of those lists would be incredible. And then obviously if I'm ever traditionally published, if I were able to make a bestseller list, I, I'd probably pass out. <laughs> Number five is to be a hybrid author. Obviously I self-published Soul Jumper comes out October 6th. Um, but I think it would be really amazing to still traditionally publish at some point. That's always been a goal of mine since I was very young and that hasn't changed. I really just wanted to push my writing forward and my goal is to make a career out of that and so publishing for me was the best option right now. But I think in the future I definitely will query again and it would be really amazing to be in that hybrid place where I have some works that I traditionally publish and some that I self-publish. I think that would be really awesome. 
Um, number six is another one that I feel like every writer wants. We all want a book made into a movie. And I got really inspired not that long ago. It's been a few weeks because I found this movie called The Will. Alexis, if you're watching this, don't call me out. <laughs> I've seen the movie like way too many times to count, but I loved it. And I remembered from the beginning that it was based on a book. So right after I watched the movie, I bought the book. And it took me reading the book on my Kindle and then I wanted the paperback version. So I called Barnes and Noble in my town to see if they had it available and he said, oh, this is a self-published book so I can order it for you, but they only print it if somebody orders it. I about lost it in my truck. Thank God I was pulled over because that it's a movie and she self-published it. It's Kristen Ashley. Um, I highly recommend it. It's a whole series. I have all three of them now and I loved it and she self-published it and one of the books, the first book in the series has a movie that is in my opinion very good and so it was really really inspiring to see that and to know that hey maybe down the line if I ever do get a book made into a movie maybe it is a traditionally published book but here's somebody who did it with a self-published book. And so that was super cool. And I was really, really excited uh, when I found that out. And number seven is to write full time. I'm kind of doing that now, but not to the extent that I want to be. And so whenever I say that, I mean financially. Um, I did decide not to teach this year for a lot of reasons, but one of them was to pursue writing as a full-time job and so I'm definitely treating it like a job. I work specific hours throughout the day. Um, I try to stay very close to like a quote-unquote normal work schedule, things like that, um, but I'd like to get into a place where financially I can consider it a full-time job. I consider it a full-time job now I'm just doing a lot of things for free. <laughs> and so it'll be really, really great to get to a point where I'm working full time. Um, let's see. Number eight is to be a host of a conference or a panelist at a conference. Those are kind of two separate goals, but they kind of go together. I would love to be able to participate in some way at a conference. And so at the Seattle Writers Workshop, like I said, everything was virtual, but you had the panelists, you could see their videos across the top. Um, I've been to other conferences for things like anthropology, education, and you have the panelists and they talk about specific things and answer questions. And I would love, love, love to be able to <laughs> participate in that way in the writing community. I also think it'd be really cool to host a conference or to host a convention. Obviously that's a long time off goal. You'd have to have a ton of connections and be able to plan that event and do everything like that. But I definitely keep that in the back of my mind as I move forward and as I'm meeting people because I think it would be incredible to host a conference of my own someday or like a writer's retreat. Number nine is to get up to 5,000 people across my social media platforms. <laughs> and that to some of you watching this, you might be like, wow, I have like double that already. <laughs> I wish. Um, Twitter, I think I have the most followers on Twitter, but I would love to build those platforms. And obviously 5,000 is not like a Nope, I am not accepting any more followers at this point in time. Thank you for asking. No, I would love to have more than that. But I think it would be like, that's a really good like step one for me. Like, okay, if I reach this milestone, now start trying to go for a higher number. I just think that that would be really awesome to be able to connect with that many people, um, have that many people exposed to what I'm writing and what I'm doing. 
And so that's always something that I'm also working on and looking into, you know, how to build followings across those platforms. That being said, if you don't follow me, please follow me. Um, please like this video. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. It helps me a ton. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Instagram. I'm on Snapchat. I'm on Twitter. The whole nine yards. I would love to follow you. Um, and see what you're doing as well. If you're a writer or a creative person, I love following other artists and things like that, other small businesses. So let's connect. I think that would be awesome. Okay, number 10. <laughs> this for me is like, people will think it's silly, but it's like the, I've made it at this point. <laughs> So number 10 is to hire somebody to manage my media. Like that being shalanabattles.com, my social media platforms, maybe helping with Battling the Chaos, which is the blog that my husband and I run, um, handling my emails. Like if I could hire somebody to do that and they're doing my weekly posting and all of that stuff and I can focus on the writing and making videos, making like making some content, but they're managing everything and handling all of that. That would be amazing. That would be incredible. To me, that'd be like, okay, I'm successful now, <laughs> which is silly, but I mean, there's a lot of me that likes the posting and the interacting and stuff, but it takes up a lot of time. And if I can spend that time writing and making different, connections, things like that. That would be awesome. So those are my 10. Obviously I have other goals in terms of writing, but those are my top 10 as of right now. Um, I would love to hear what your goals are. They don't have to be writing goals. Maybe you run a business or you're an artist or you're on a weight loss journey or whatever the case may be, raising money for something. Um, I would love to hear what your goals are for the future. This, it could be short-term, long-term goals. Leave them in the comments. Let's talk about them. I think that would be awesome. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for visiting my channel and have a great week.